This entire RC car's chassis, including the wheels, the drivetrain and even the steering mechanism, was all 3D printed in one singular piece on a standard FDM 3D printer. I'm not kidding. Literally all you have to do is to break loose some 3D printed joints and put in the electronics along with some TPU or rubber tires for better grip. Let me take you along as we print it out, then install the electronics, go test it out and finally upgrade it to make it faster. Oh yeah, I also kinda broke it, but let's just start from the beginning. The 3D files for this are available to download for free by Andre Engineered on Colts 3D and I'll simply print it out with my standard PLA profile on my Prusa Mark 2.5S printer. Let's see how it goes. Now if you don't have a 3D printer or maybe want to get some parts custom made by more advanced machines, check out PCBWay, the sponsor of this video. They offer a wide range of 3D printing and CNC machining services, utilizing plastics like PETG, PLA, resin and nylon, or even metals like aluminium, titanium and steel. Simply upload your 3D files and get an instant quote, then have the parts custom made and shipped to you within just a couple of days. With that, back to the video. Once printed, the chassis is already assembled, but we do have to break off some well-designed supports and break loose some printed-in-place joints on the wheels and on the steering mechanism. Now for the electronics. You're gonna need a 3.7 gram micro servo, a mini 130 size brushed motor. I actually got mine out of an old office printer, but you can buy these new as well. An electronic speed controller, a receiver along with a transmitter, and a little 2S LiPo battery to power the whole thing. I've put links to where you can buy all this in the description below. The assembly is straightforward. Just attach the included gear to the motor, then clip it in place. Attach the included servo horn to the servo, attach the included screw to the hole on the top, and again, simply clip it in place. As for the ESC, receiver and battery, just find a good place for them on the car and attach them off. For this I simply use a zip tie and double sided tape to fix them in place. The last step was to simply slip on some tires, these are the ones included in the files and printed from TPU. Alright, now it should be all assembled, so let's go try it out! Let's start by testing the car indoors. On carpet, it drives pretty well, not the fastest thing in the world, but actually surprisingly responsive and the grip is also just fine, even on these 3D printed TPU tires. The steering is also pretty direct and accurate, pretty impressive for 3D printed in place linkages. On smooth floors, the tire grip is definitely limited, but it makes it drift which is also fun. At this point it wasn't particularly fast though. To make it a little faster, I threw out the salvaged office printer motor, bought a proper one that's actually meant for micro RC cars and clipped it in. Now it should be a lot quicker, let's see. Oh, why is the motor twitching like that? Let me try adjusting the throttle trim. There's no way dude, this thing just fell off the table. Ugh, you can't be serious. Good thing it's all 3D printed. So I just reprinted it, transferred all the parts over and we're back in business, awesome. Let's actually test out the upgraded motor now. This motor definitely has way more power, but now the 3D printed tires are the limiting factor. After all, raw power means nothing if you can't get it on the ground. So I decided to put on some fitting rubber tires which I coincidentally found in my old LEGO collection. Here's the part number so you can find them online if you want to. Wow, that's way more lively now. Still able to drift on this table though. No! I am too stupid for this. What the hell? 
Print and play stuff, baby. Next, I took the car outside to see how it would perform on rougher ground. On asphalt, it actually runs pretty well and with respectable speed for such a tiny little 3D printed car. The rigid chassis means you feel every bump, but for a print in place design, it holds together well and nothing came loose or got damaged. To be honest, it's probably more suited for indoor use and flat surfaces, but it looks like it can handle light outdoor use as well. Alright, so after first printing this chassis out in a singular piece, then mounting the electronics and trying it out both inside and outside, I can now say that this thing is not only a really cool proof of concept of what 3D printing makes possible, but also an actually functional and fun RC car that is honestly better than most toy grade RC cars you can buy at this scale, which is really impressive. Now. Big credit to Under Engineered on YouTube for developing both this chassis and other print in place ones, cause this is some awesome work that they've done. Oh yeah, if you wanna print this car yourself, I'll also add a download link as well as a list of the parts that I used in this video. Thank you so much for watching and happy printing!